Positioning right now, but I am going to try. Okay, we're gonna reposition. I'm hoping we don't go black screen. We are right on the edge of a drainage line wall. got to be very very careful here that we don't get in the way of what's happening I've jumped on the back of this buffalo it's a very very big bull and there's some serious fight in him here This could go on for an incredible period of time, and this is what the rawest version of wildlife out here is truly like. A firm Brent, I think so. Here comes a fifth lioness. I just need to make sure that we've got an escape route here in case this buffalo comes to us. Okay, I've just arrived now. I can see Jamie's lights. I'm just trying to figure a way into the block. Okay, I can hear that buffalo, so now I've got my sign. Hold on. Hey, Finn. There's a very steep... So you're back across to Jamie. Look at this. This is incredible, guys. We had to move the car out of the way. We found ourselves in a really serious position there with the buffalo running towards us. And we had to, had to get out of his way. He is a 900 kilogram animal that is very, very frightened right now. And we found ourselves in a very difficult position. He was trying to charge the lions that were around us. And we had to move. You can see they're trying to get to that hold on the face of his, on the front of his face. This is incredible to witness. It's moments like these that are truly, truly both spectacular and heartrending. They can't get onto the front of the buffalo. Brent, come back. He's fallen into the drainage. Pardon? I'm going to. Okay, we can hear Brent on his way. I cannot believe this is way, the way the afternoon went. This is the last thing we were expecting. He's still fighting back. He's still chasing the lionesses away. Brent is racing back towards the scene because we cannot get down here without rolling the vehicle. If you can get in from there, that'll be your best approach. And moments like these are exceptionally rare. The last time we saw a live buffalo hunt was over a year ago. And now we have the Inkahumas in action in an age-old battle that has been played out for hundreds and hundreds of years. And now they have the advantage. Three lionesses on its back. We're going to go forward a little bit before Brent gets here. Here we go. How's your review there, Jean-Dre? All of them are on top of it now. 
They've taken it down and this buffalo has just lost the battle. They need to get to front of its head, they need to grab its neck or the nose, but the fact that they've got it off its feet and on its side... And now comes the difficult part. The sounds of this buffalo is absolutely heart-wrenching. And at the same time, we've become so invested in these lionesses, we know that they have three sets of cubs to feed. And demonstrating why the lion is the apex predator, all five of them working together as a cohesive unit. Here, Brent on his way. The buffalo is still fighting to get up. But his battle is lost, and the lionesses have him. And here comes Brent around the side of the drainage line wall. I can't believe this is the way that the, the evening has gone. Oh, he's up! I don't believe it, he's got up! One powerful push of those legs, a desperate last struggle of a buffalo that is losing this fight. Over to Brent, who has got a different view. So we just managed to get down here. I know this is very disturbing for some people. It looks like all the Ngoma ladies. Sometimes it can take a long time for a buffalo to die, but this is nature at its most raw. She's going to go for the nose hold now. That helps quicken the, quicken the death. So what happens is the blood will actually flow back into that buffalo's lungs and, and it'll suffocate on its own blood, but it does make it a bit quicker. You can hear that there now. Um, and... The female at the back's already started feeding. That's not uncommon either. I know this is really hard, but this is nature. Guys, it seems as though Brent cannot hear final control, but we have this incredible view from up at the top of the drainage line, and I think both of us are just going to keep presenting, and we can switch between the vehicles. We've got this view from above. Oh, the sounds of this buffalo. I know this is really hard to watch. It's hard for all of us. Utterly devastating to see. And at the same time, you cannot help but admire the power of these cats and the power of their teamwork. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. As raw as it gets. Truly, truly phenomenal to witness. I have seen this go on for over an hour, but slowly but surely, this buffalo is getting weaker and weaker. Okay, guys, let's go and have a look from a different perspective from the head of the buffalo. Okay, look at this, we're right here. We've just repositioned to get a better view here. And you can see the lioness at the back has already started feeding. That's not uncommon. Look at that, see? She's trying really hard now to get that blood flowing into the buffalo's lungs.
Oh, see that she just got kicked. So there's still. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? I know this is really sad. I'm just going to keep quiet. Uh, as I keep saying, this is nature at its most raw. Let's go uh, back to see what Jamie's view from the top is. And now we have things from a slightly different perspective. You can hear the desperate breathing of the buffalo. This is one of the hardest sights to witness out here. Particularly with such an enormous buffalo bull. And the silence of the evening is just brent, broken by the distress calls. Let's go and have a different look from Brent's perspective. Here we go. You can see, you can hear that labored breathing, that that blood is now going into the lungs. And you can see the other lionesses aren't too perturbed, They're keeping it down now. They're starting to feed. So it is quite a precarious spot where we are. You can see that buffalo is still trying to get out. It's amazing the fight these old buffalo bulls have. You can see they're not going for the traditional throat grip. Being females, they're a bit smaller. So with lionesses, without males, quite often the nose hold works better. I know this is really, really difficult for a lot of people to watch, but the lions, as I say, have a lot of cubs to feed. Yeah, he's starting to struggle to breathe as his lungs fill with blood. So it is five minutes towards the end of the show, but we are obviously going to extend because this is incredible. And remember, this is live. This is happening at the, the, right this very second. The Nkuma pride of lions have caught an old dugger boy. Abel, try from where you are now. Uh, come in towards the Shkova from, from where you are. Copy. You can see how the blood is starting to coagulate almost out there and you can see the pink frothiness of that blood is quite a bit of it is coming up from the lungs
Now you can see those lionesses have already decided. They've started to tuck in. Now, incredible amount of energy is expelled by the lions to bring down an animal of this size. He's still fighting. I'm afraid, for his sake, I think this battle is lost. Oh, let's go across to Jamie. Uh, Candice, go ahead. The air is just rent with the sound of this buffalo. I cannot believe how long he has fought for. Truly filled with admiration for these incredible animals. And inc it's both an exhilarating and a heartbreaking sight. His lionesses are doing what they do best. I'm going to send you back over to Brent. We just want to keep giving you a view from an alternate perspective. Okay, we're back down in the drainage. And you can see that buffalo is seriously struggling to breathe now. So. I know this is quite, quite difficult to watch, but it shouldn't be too long. I'm just going to try to roll back a little bit to move this section of the vehicle out. Now that they've, oops, sorry, lines. A bit jumpy because of that buffalo. Let's try to find a better spot. Oh. So while we just try and move quickly, let's go see how Jamie's view from the top. <clears throat> and while Brent changes his position, we still have this extraordinary view. I have never seen a lion hunt from this perspective. And there we go, starting to have that aggression with each other as they get into each other's space. And this will become even more apparent once they, once they have completed their grisly deed and they start to eat the buffalo in earnest. And lions will fight each other for every scrap of meat initially when they first start to feed and these lionesses are hungry. Guys, we are going to, one of us is going to have to give up our position in the sighting relatively soon so that other vehicles can come in. And because of the perspective that I'm in, I think Brent has got a better position. So we will stay here for as long as possible. My arm is starting to shake because the adrenaline is just, <laughs> the adrenaline has just kicked in. This is absolutely extraordinary. Here's Brent repositioning and chatting to Mike. The, getting closer and closer finally to the last moments and you're just in this situation you just want it to be over for the poor buffalo the lioness is playing a patient waiting game one of the lioness is taking point at the head 
guys, this will be our last perspective from this angle. We have to give up our position in this sighting. We're going to move off and let other vehicles come in, but we're going to send you back over to Brent. No, no. No, Jamie, don't go. Um, unfortunately, this battery is going to last another five minutes at the most on our camera, so um, I think we'll, we'll give up our spot, and it is also Jamie who found them hunting. So maybe this will give Jamie a chance to get down and around to my position before our battery dies. As you can see, that buffalo is feeding on Look at that, that lion is getting kicked in the head, but she's still trying to, still trying to feed. So I just got to talk to Jamie quickly. Jamie, confirm you are between the two drainages. Ah, uh, okay. Um, we'll stay just as long as our, our battery's about to die. So Vernon, you can come take my spot. And then Mikey will be first standing by. Okay, so we're going to stay down here for as long as we can, but our battery is about to die, unfortunately. Look at that. So, I know this can be quite harsh. That's, they are already feeding. Um, she's actually opening up his stomach at the moment but he's still alive and the other lioness is feeding off his rump Sorry guys, um, there's a, a bit, a bit of... Okay, so guys, also there's obviously a lot of people waiting for this sighting. And we're going to stay as long as we can with the battery. I think Jamie's going to try to reposition to get a better view. And then we're going to have to move out and let the other guys come in and get a chance. But well done, Jamie. As you can see, she's still holding on. Buffalo. Oh, he's still fighting. I know this is really difficult to watch, guys, but this, as I keep saying, is nature. And those little cubs we love so much are sustained on the milk of this buffalo. I know this is very difficult and I'm just going to keep quiet and, and I know a lot of people might be finding this very difficult but just you've got to look at it with the big circle of life. Oh, oh 
they're really starting to fight over feeding. Breathing is starting to get far more labored. Oh, what's happening? There's a fight. There's something else there. Is it a male lion? Is it a leopard? What happened? That lioness just took off. That lion just took off and chased something. Here come the males. So these male lions are running in here. They've obviously heard this buffalo dying. But the lioness obviously weren't sure whether, or well, some of the lionesses are running away. This might not be the Birmingham's. Could this be new males, Salati males? Look at this, isn't this amazing? That reaction it's a bit unusual if this was the Birmingham boys. What is going on? So, sorry, I'm going to just put my spotlight behind me. There's only the lioness who's holding the buffalo down. Could it be the Birmingham's? Could it be new males? Stations four of the one side to have run away after those one was called only one still in the buffalo. So I'm just keeping quiet. I'm trying to hear. So if those males, or if or when those males arrive. And can you believe it? We can hear Jean Ray singing from here. I think the buffalo is finally finally died. No. Oh yes, I think that was just nerves. What happens when you look up and all your sisters and sisters are gone? Look at that face. Any line is still behind you, Dave, that you can see. Now, this is a great risk for lions when they kill something as big as a buffalo just to have it stolen by some male lions. So our, our battery seems to be surviving for now, but we don't know how long it's going to last. So if we do disappear, we do apologize. Jamie is trying to get around. He has something growling. Oh, look, her dew claws, one of her claws is caught. So I'm just going to take the spotlight off. I want to see what she's growling at. So. Buffalo's distress calls could have brought male lions running in from 10 kilometers away. 
Oh, sounds like someone's coming back. Ah, oh, one of the lionesses is coming back behind us. So the initial panic is, seems to be over. It could be the Birmingham boys. She's going to walk right next to Dave, and she's going to pop out right in the corner of the camera. And I can hear another one walking in behind me. There's a male, there's a male. Scent marking. So it could possibly be one of the Birmingham boys. I thought I heard two males roaring. So I'm sure he's going to come down. This could be quite spectacular shortly. I thought I saw another set of eyes behind him. Said I thought I heard two males. He's busy scent marking on top of the hill there. Now you can see the lioness who did the killing is panting heavenly. She's not even thinking about eating. She was stuck onto that buffalo's nose for so long. The amount of energy she's expended uh, to, to bring that animal down, it's just incredible. Dave, just tell me what you want. Oh, Dave was trying to sign language me and I didn't understand. Is that male? He's still up on top. There he is. Why aren't you charging in here, mister? Have you already got a full belly? Um, Dave, just come back. I want to see something on the other side of the spotlight. See, this lioness has lifted her head. As I said, I thought I heard males coming from the, the northwest as well. I can't see. Oh, he's fighting with one of the lionesses. Here he comes. Yay, free meal. Looks, it definitely looks like one of the Birmingham's. Yep, you can just see the scent marking the lioness's reactions to him. He's got such a full belly. So he's not that hungry, that's why he hasn't made such a big deal. Normally a male lion, if he was hungry, he'd run in here and whack the females. I actually think there's a mating pair up on top behind us as well. Let's see, there's something going on behind me again. I can see a lioness in the distance, but I'm not sure if there's a male there as well. I heard other males roaring to the north. Oh, he's growling at something. I'm just going to reverse a bit so he can see. You see another male up there, Dave? Oh, there's a 
big stump. I can't hit that, can I? Oh. oh, we can't see anything just yet. Well, let's just I'm just moving on my lights. But he is growling at something up there. So it could be another one of the Birmingham boys. And this is just spectacular. We're right in the middle of the African bush, live with the pride of lions that has just taken down a buffalo live. The second ever live buffalo kill on Safari Live. By the same pride, the Inkahuma pride. There's three lionesses here. I can I know one's off to my left, so we are still missing one. Oh, there's another male. There's a second male. Thought I heard two males calling. I think that that's the mating pair we might have been tracking this morning. Mm -hmm. And to me it sounds like there might even be more coming from the north. I keep hearing something up there. Can't see anything. I think there's a third male to the north that's coming. Maybe even two. Jamie has certainly saved Cataday. And she's going to come take over for me. I said we might disappear at any second. So we've got at the moment I can see one, two, three, four, six different lines. And I still think there's a couple more coming. So we're missing one lioness, and I still think there's some males coming from the north. I just want to see where Jamie is because I'm going to have to move. Jamie, Jamie. What's your position? Jamie, what's your position? Uh, copy, I've got your audio. I'm going to make my way out. Okay, guys, I'm going to make space. My battery's not going to die. Uh, oh, my battery is going to die. Jamie's is not. So we're going to say, wow, and we'll definitely come see these lines again tomorrow. The second ever. The live buffalo kill on Safari Live.
bylines. Okay. So, wow, wasn't that exciting, Jamie? Saved a cat today. Oh, there's the fifth lioness. She's just lying off to the right there. There she is. I'm just gonna find my way out of here now. And she happens to be on my road. Well, we'll have to go around her. Oh no, I don't think we can. <laughs> um, so there's Jamie, she's going in. So from myself and the dangerous dish. What an incredible Saturday sunset, Catterday Safari. So let's jump back board, on board with Jamie as she makes her way back towards those Inkelmans on the kill. What an absolutely incredible afternoon. That has been well and truly one of my most memorable moments in the bush that I have ever experienced. And as this is something that we couldn't show you, unfortunately we didn't have signal, but as Jandre and myself made our way out of that sighting, and I've just realized I've knocked my light up into the sky, let me just fix that before we go in. Um, as we came out of that sighting, we, I was busy trying to off-road, and this male lion appeared out of nowhere, roaring right next to the car, out of the darkness. I promise you, Jandre and myself both levitated about 20 centimeters into the air. I was about to exaggerate, but I'm not going to. But we really did. We levitated. Because all of a sudden there was just these two males right next to us on either side. I couldn't see anything in the thick bush. It's just been incredible. Okay. Let me try and get through here. We're going to be playing a bit of Tetris here with the other vehicles. I don't know if Tetris is the right word, but it certainly feels like Tetris. Just so that we can get in. So just hold on, bear with me a moment. Brent is trying to get out, and there's another vehicle trying to get out as well. You can hear Brent creaking through. Ah, here's a male lion. He's not even feeding, I expected him to be feeding. Oh, well that was unfortunate. <sighs> Sorry, Chandre. Oh, there's so many radios. I'm getting confused. I can't answer Brent. I'm tangled. I'm tangled in my jacket. Oh, no. Okay, there's the mail line, everybody. Standing by. Copy, confirm south of my position now. Okay, copy that, thank you. Uh, should I come back onto the road or keep going from where I am? Oh. Copy that, thank you. There's a um, one of the Ngala here, right in front of me. Okay, guys, we're going to try and reposition to just get to where Brent has told us we can go. There's, there's another vehicle in my way, and it's really, really tricky to get in. I don't actually know how we're going to, except by moving around. You can come, Tax. I think we'll have to try and go through here. I can't see with this light on. No, it's fine. I've got it. Oh, sorry guys. Didn't mean to blind you.
Thanks so much. Sham, hope you got to see us. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that happened so fast. <laughs> Cool. All right. Cheers, guys. Have fun. Thank you. Cheers. All right. Let's see how Brent managed to get in here because it's now totally dark and I can't see where to go, but I want to get to that buffalo. I know we've got the male lion here. I think we can do it this way. There we go. Okay, we got it. Oh boy, you're not hungry. Oh. There's the lioness. And no way to get into the buffalo kill. You can hear them crunching away. I would like to have a chance to get to see the buffalo kill before we end off. We have extended, as you may be able to tell, we have extended our show considerably. But let's try and get to this buffalo carcass. There's just a male lion sort of lying there that we're going to have to circumnavigate. Brent said go left and there's a big elephant path, but things are very difficult in the dark. But I think if I squeeze through here, I'm going to have to move around the edge of this male. I think this is where Brent meant. You okay there, Jean? Thank you. This must be where Brent meant. If it's not, well, we'll find a way. We'll find a way through here. I know we won't. Where this elephant path is. Absolutely no idea. I can't find it. This is not bad. getting signal here, we're definitely not going to have signal there. I can't see the line. Guys, unfortunately, I think trying to get into this drainage line isn't going to work out for us today, especially with Wendy's signal. We've had the most amazing experience, but I don't think we're going to manage it, unfortunately. And I've also got several vehicles waiting to get into the sighting now. We will be here first thing tomorrow morning to follow up on these lines. I don't know how Brent got in here and I can't manage it with this line where, lying where he is. out. Oh, Chandra's in a quarry bush. I'm sorry, Chandra. There's so much going on and we have 